Goat person. Are we talking bottom half goat and top half girl, or top half goat and bottom half girl? Either way, I'm a human animal hybrid half full kind of guy. Smash. How do you feel? Like a whale man. Banshee. The saying scream like a banshee comes from the myth that if you hear a banshee's horrific screech, someone in your family is gonna die soon. I'ma be real. After this, all my neighbors' families are gonna die soon. Smash. Sea Serpent. All we gotta do is take out the teeth and drain the seawater and then this thing is basically just one giant wiggly fleshlight. Smash. Minotaur. A creature with the body of a human and the head of a bull. Honestly, as long as the body is normal and I don't have to French kiss with a cow tongue down my throat, consider it a smash. Phoenix. I won't be putting my member anywhere near a bird that catches fire. Third degree burns all over my third leg sounds like a fate worse than death. Pass. Griffin. Half eagle, half lion. As a not furry, I wouldn't do any of these things separately, so I'm not gonna do it if you stick them together. Pass. The Kraken. Initially, some of you might think that it's a smash because all those slippery tentacles. However, this creature has a beak chomping anything that comes close to its mouth hole. For the sake of avoiding crotch amputation, it's gonna have to be a pass. The app. I. Give me a second. F How the fuck do I say this? What? I tried, okay? I, I tried. The name is this. A race of horrific human-scorpion hybrids. Some say they look like this, but this decrepit evil blobfish version is much funnier. So that's the one that I'm telling you that it is. Also, either way, it's fucking disgusting. Pass. Camazots. An anthropomorphic bat creature. I know what you're thinking, but this thing isn't based off the vampire bat, so it may not have its trademark legendary suck. However, at this point in my career, vaguely anthropomorphic is a selling point. Smash! Dokolosh. A little gremlin guy with a hole in its head and no eyes that everyone blames for their problems and mistakes. Honey, I'm pregnant. Tokolosh. What do you mean? How dare you cheat on me? Smash. Hecatonkeries. A giant with a hundred arms and fifty heads. Even if you don't go all the way, all those mouths and fingers, it's bound to be otherworldly. I wonder how many genitals it has. Smash. Slipnir. Basically an eight-legged horse. The fact that this has eight legs doesn't change the fact that I don't want to butt f a horse. Pass. Yaramayahu, a little Australian red vampire guy that sucks all the blood out of people using their little slurpy fingers. I just said little slurpy fingers, and there's still any question as to whether or not I would? Smash. A Shirim Yokai. No cap, this one translates from Japanese as butt eye strange apparition. It's like staring into a smelly mirror. If you wouldn't screw yourself, you got some serious work to do. Smash. The Boogeyman, a purposefully nondescript monster that steals nasty children from their home. Apparently, it can take any shape it wants. Shapeshifters are an auto smash because they can transform into anyone or anything you could possibly want. Top half three boobed alien lady, bottom half Cardi B. Ready, go! A Baraman, a weird reversed leg person that can apparently run at superhuman speeds. So it's a regular human with its butt on backwards. Compared to the rest of the list, she's a supermodel. Smash. What do you think? Very nice. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. What do you think? Nice. But wait. You ain't seen nothing yet. White. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's. Oh my god. Sasquatch. Don't get me wrong, I don't really mind a little bit of hair. This isn't a little bit of hair though. It's an entire forest of sh caked bug infested fur. Pass. I'm not a furry, nor even sure if I could find the hole. The Jersey Devil. I'm not one to make fun of someone for having a weird body, but look at this gangly mother f Its proportions don't even make sense. There are some cryptids that I think could exist, and this idiot is not one of them. Pass. How can I f something I don't even believe in? Loch Ness Monster. So this thing is basically just a trapped plesiosaur. I'm telling you, man, with a throat like that, Nessie could give one hell of a pecker inspector using only her necker. Smash. Chupacabra. Fun fact, the English to Spanish translation for chupacabra means goat sucker. Some might think its name comes from how it sucks the blood out of goats and stuff, 
but it's actually because I'm the fuck goat and you can fill in the rest. Smash. Mothman. I wonder what moth genitalia looks like. Oh! No, 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 no. Fuck it ass. Fuck claws. <laughs> Pass. Mongolian death worm. Now, the Mongolian death worm has acidic spit, but if you were to drain all that out and only have the electric shock part, it's like a taser and a fleshlight all at the same time. Smash. Yeti. The Yeti would have the same too much hair problem as Bigfoot for me. Not only that, I'd have to be up in the mountains so my fingers would be so small and that'd be embarrassing. I um, pass. I have a huge p and will murder anyone that claims otherwise. Sea ape slash mermaids. For the sea ape, it's a definite pass because it's literally just a dead monkey sewn to a dead fish. For the mermaid, it depends. Is it top half lady and bottom half fish? And if so, what kind of hardware do we have downstairs? Or is it human legs and fish body? Or maybe it's the mermaids that destroyed Animal Planet's reputation. Smash, I don't have time for this, I just want to get my d licked. Flatwoods Monster. Some sort of reptilian alien in a big metal suit? I'm just saying, under that titanium dress is definitely a dummy thick ass. They don't build it that wide for no reason, and I see no reason better than a huge butt. Smash. Dover Demon. Okay, so this thing is basically just a stereotypical gray alien. This thing isn't really displayed with a mouth, and all of the literature I can find of the Dover Demon suspiciously doesn't have any information as to whether or not it has an anus. Pass. Too much guesswork. Skunk Ape. The human actually went on an expedition to a scam shack in the swamp to try to find this thing. I don't think he specified if he was there to f*** it, though. He didn't specify that he wasn't there to f*** it, though. Pass. The alligator nuggets were good, but I'm not going back to the swamps. Loveland Frog. A large pseudo- humanoid frog from Loveland, Ohio. This thing is definitely slippery and slimy. I'ma get in there and fertilize me some weird squishy eggs. Smash. <laughs> Is it? What is, what is, what's even this sh anymore? Sea serpents. Long, slippery, and basically a living fleshlight. The only thing that makes me question is the salt water. You ever get that in a cut? Imagine that in your d hole. Smash. I've stuck my d worse. Skinwalker. Now, since this creature can only really shapeshift into animals, that's a definite pass from me. You could ask her to stay a human, but if they're corrupt enough to become a skinwalker, then they definitely have some sort of weird thing for being eaten out as a raccoon, and I'm not about it. Pass. The Wendigo, described as completely emaciated and corrupt beyond belief, shown by their endless hunger for human flesh. I'm not gonna say, like, that's my type, but I'm not gonna say, like, that it's far off from my type. Smash. Looking good. Almost done. And there. Done. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. I had to Google sexualized Sasquatch art and Rule 34 cryptids because of you fuckers. Sometimes I like to work in a coffee shop in between my classes. Sometimes the people in the coffee shop like to enjoy their coffee without someone putting a dump truck thick moth woman on full screen right in front of them. Needless to say, only one of us got what they wanted that day. Monopod. Say what you want, I'd bet a kidney that this is someone's ultimate fantasy. The only discernible trait is one giant foot. Let's just say, if this thing was around to post its cash app, I'd be proven right and you lose your faith in God. Smash. Princess. Princesses are always described as beautiful. And not only that, you're marrying into a family that you think has literally been bestowed by God to control the entire goddamn world. Even if she wasn't hot, that's worth a smash. Cynocephaly, a human-like being with a dog head. I'm not a furry, so nine times out of 10 on this one, it's gonna be a pass. However, you're all just gonna call me a furry anyways, so if she's really bad, you know, doggy style, smash. Goblin, a weird sticky little green goober that has a ton of gold. You may not like it, but this is what peak male performance looks like. I'm about to go goblin mode on tiny green Bezos, smash. King slash queen. Usually this is the point at which I'd say I'd only smash the queen, cause I only like girls. Thing is, I like girls, but I also like having money and power. It would be less of a smash and more of a smash 
smash, marry, then murder. Hmm. Usually, f marry, kill is a choice between three people and not relationship advice. The Baba Yaga, described as a deformed lady that flies around in a mortar, wields a pestle, and dwells deep in the forest in a hut, usually described as standing on chicken legs. I know that deformed lady might not be high up on your list, but keep in mind the other things that I have to stick it in to satisfy your weird lusts. I'm lucky that the word lady is in there at all. Plus, she's a homeowner. Smash. Dragon. I've said it a few times, but every time I queue up a video of dragons, I know some basement dweller has already married it. I will not be destroying any beautiful half reptile, half discord moderator baby's family life today. Pass. Knight. Are they keeping the armor on? Because the sharp edges of the metal suit would make any form of intimacy both difficult to achieve and excruciatingly painful. No way I'm letting this dingus get in the position to inquisition my pingus. Pass. Wizard. I've never met a real life wizard, but from smelling the people who talk about them, I bet they'd use Uber Eats more than they use deodorant. Pass. Fool. A good sense of humor can definitely get you into somebody's pants. I'm not debating that, but <laughs> stop laughing at it. Pass. Blemmies. I absolutely love how fucked up this thing looks. Looks like the type of motherfucker to wander out of the forest like, kill me. Smash. You're gonna have to live to suffer another day. No. Medieval salamander. So what the medieval people thought a salamander was, was almost identical to the regular one. A except that it was covered in fur, and it poisons fruit, and it it's homicidal, and it breathes fire. Okay, I'll cop to it. They were stupid all the way through. Pass. Vegetable lamb. A sheep that grows out of the ground via a pumpkin-like root vine. I wonder if it grazes like normal, or uses photosynthesis. And if it didn't need to poo, would it still have a butthole? Smash. Only one way to find out. Sea monk. A vaguely human-like creature that also resembles a squid of sorts. Now initially, you might think that a cute sea monk woman would be a win with all those slippery tentacles. But you're missing two key aspects. One, all sea monks are dudes. And two, monks take a vow of celibacy, so it's an automatic pass. Grillis, described as a fat, squat creature consisting of a human head that sits on weird little pig haunches. Okay, come on. Someone was just f***ing with people. If I were in a town where I could literally walk into the woods, walk out, and lie, and say that I saw literally anything, and people would just believe me, I would do that all the time. That would be the only thing I ever did. Also, you can just pick this thing up and go fleshlight mode, so smash. Um, that was, uh, that was really bad. Giant. So, basically just a giant human. I've been inside of someone, but I've never been, like, inside of someone inside of someone, like, in a literal sense. I'll try anything once. Smash. Excuse me, sir, I'm gonna need you to put your hands behind your back. We can't have this sort of smut being shown online. This is a damn ugly world we live in. Medusa. How well does she control those snakes? Because I could imagine her head feeling crazy if they got involved. But if they're basically just feral snakes stapled to her head, getting involved means biting my ball back. Uh. They're pretty close to her brain, and I mean, I'm already stoned. Smash. Hydra. Cut off one head and two grow in its place. I'll just keep a big axe on me to slice off the new heads and exponentially increase the total amount of probable knob gobbling while I'm already getting getting knob gobbled. Smash. Ogre. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. I'm about to peel away his layers like an onion. Smash right in those long ogre ears. What the hell even do I fucking make anymore? Leprechaun. Kiss me. I'm Irish. I'll follow the rainbow down to your pot of gold, baby. Maybe I shouldn't have made my pickup lines borderline offensive. We'll pass to you too, green ginger midget troll. Are we talking about the pay the toll, solve my riddles under a bridge style troll? Or is it that fat guy on Xbox Live that lowered my self-esteem with his mean words? Smash. Either way, after what he said to me, I don't deserve standards. Imp. It really depends on the specific imp for me. For context, I'm gonna put two Google image search results for the word imp right next to each other. You see what I mean? You, you see what I gotta deal with here? Pass. This is a toss up. Dragon. Not a furry nor a scaly, but also anyone who wants to fuck dragons probably has a pretty hard time finding a living, breathing, warm body to sleep with them. So I can't go stealing 
calling their screen printed scaly pillow girlfriend? Pass. I'm a monster, but I'm not a monster. Unicorn. I could see someone falling in love with this magical spiky horse if they have a thing for shoving heated metal rods up their urethra, but fortunately that someone is not me. Pass. Chimera. A fire-breathing abomination with the body and head of a lion, another head of a goat, the udders of a goat, and a beefy ass danger noodle for the tail. You almost had me with the wide selection and diversity of options, but I don't want to stick any part of my body near something labeled fire breathing. Pass. Centaur. If I have to stick it in the horse butt, it's a pass. But if I can throw a blanket over the weird horsey giblets and then just deal with the woman connected to it at the hips, then it's a smash. Gnome. Are you kidding? This one can give top standing up. Smash. Fairy. So is this like a human sized fairy or one of those weird little dragonfly sized fuckers? Since I don't want one of these things inside of me, I'm just going to assume it's the human sized one. Smash. It's a girl with bug wings. Jaw Jobs in 1920. I fought in the Great War! Jobs now. I pretend to f monsters to get strangers to watch an advertisement? The High Priest of the Old Great Ones. Not only is this old one famous beyond all comprehension, it's got a face covered in tentacles. I'm just saying, this thing could give one hell of a scintillating suction slong shuckle. Smash. If it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. Survival guide? For, For what? Make it worth your while. What the fuck? The Dunwich Horror. While every single one of its tentacles does have a mouth attached, all of them are filled with haphazard sharp teeth sticking out at every angle. Also, this thing smells like dead rotting animals and would probably rip a cow in half and drink its fluids in front of me. While that display of power would be incredibly attractive, everything else is horribly wrong. Pass. Yog sothoth an all-knowing god locked on the outside of the cosmos. Look, if these creature is all-knowing, it definitely knows of all the people with a bigger dingle than me, and that's what I'd be thinking about the entire time. Pass. Children of the Sphinx. So, basically, it's just like a regular human except with various random animal parts. This is just like that time I found a dead supermodel, several squirrels, and a nail gun. Smash, but I'm not a furry guy. Seriously, shut the hell up or I'll do to you what I did to those squirrels. Azathoth. Basically a living black hole that is seen differently by all who experience it. The Blind Idiot God. With a name like that, it's definitely into degradation. Smash, it's like all the fun of being mean, but you're not actually hurting anybody's feelings. Shoggoth. Massive amoeba-like creatures made out of iridescent black slime with multiple eyes floating on its surface. Honestly, that's not even too far off from screwing a member of my own species. Smash. H.P. Lovecraft's cat. First off, pass right off the bat, I'm not gonna smash a cat. There's no way in hell. But not only is it a cat, it's a f***ing racist cat. The Flying Polyps. These things are the most phallic creature in the entire Lovecraft universe. Yagalanak the Defiler. This is literally the most perverse entity in all of existence. Its whole deal is perversion and defiling, and that's right up my alley. Although, this is just a morbidly obese headless man when you get down to it, so I'm not gonna go right up his alley. Pass. The Great Race of Yith. This thing has a literal toolbox for depraved usage. Face tentacles and that long fooble with all those weird holes. So many places to smash, I don't know where to start. Lil Cthu, the birth womb of the great old ones. So basically this giant monster vag is what they all fall out of. Physical characteristics aside, anytime one of these fears does something so destructive to humanity that they think is so cool, the dark ancient god Cthulhu has called for a press conference. I can just be like, I f your mom. Smash. Migo. No, not the musical group Migos, the pinkish fungoid crustacean-like entities that inhabit the planet Yugoth. I love mushrooms, and I love shrimps. Can I add the third option of eat it? In the creature is twist like stir fry. The conscious nothingness between the stars. Having sex with nothing? No cap, if you're watching this video sincerely and not for comedic effect, that's what you do every day. Pass, don't worry, I'm not gonna try to slide on your very real girlfriend that definitely goes to another school. Kasagatha. Apparently this is both Cthulhu's sister and mate. What are you doing, step bro? Ew. But not only that, it would be a double dick move to smash her. Also, I just smashed Cthulhu, so that would be a triple dick move. Pass, I'm a monster, but I'm not a monster. Ghast. Humanoid creatures that only speak in guttural squelches. 
I wanna know what those squelches sound like when it's taking it up the butt. Smash. Mummy. With all those bandages, this one definitely has some tie-up potential. I'm gonna dig through this whole gosh darn pile of embalms, toilet paper, wrapped human corpses until I find Cleopatra's historically infamous a that destroyed nations. Smash. Hey, stop! I, uh, why? I just don't get it. I always catch you f watching this sick shit. <laughs> Frankenstein. Frankenstein is a pass for me, but I do the bride of Frankenstein. You can murder people to mix and match their parts like Mr. Potato Head. The only limit is your imagination and possibly necrophilia. Werewolf. I don't know how many times I need to tell you guys that I'm not a furry. Pass. While I do intend to one day create a human-animal hybrid, I want to do it with science and not my dick. Zombies. Look at her. She's already fallen apart just standing there. If I try to do literally anything, pieces of her will just start sloughing off onto the floor. Floor. Pass. Dracula. Now I know Dracula can give the good suck. No one's questioning that. But this monster definitely uses its teeth. Pass. Dude, you're like one of the oldest monsters and still haven't learned this yet. And you still don't know why they don't call you back? It's because they're dead. Because you sucked all the blood out of their penis. Headless Horseman. No head, but he definitely has a neck hole. I've never gotten a neck job. I imagine it's like sticking it in the hole that that lady whose name is Shelly and used to be a smoker. Smash. Demon. For me, it depends what kind of demon. Am I getting a soul job from a succubus or am I getting crushed under Beelzebub's morbidly obese ass? Pass. I can never get that image out of my head. That's too much of a gamble. The creature from the Black Lagoon. This thing is the slipperiest and slimiest one in the whole list. That's nature's lubrication. Smash. That person your parents warned you about putting razor blade laced poison in your candy. Smash. I'm a sucker for a dark sense of humor. Gray alien. I'm into a lot of weird stuff, but not getting probed. And also, because it's for science, it'd be so strangely professional and methodical that I'd feel like I'm screwing Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Smash. Bazinga. Pumpkin with a hole drilled in it. What happened to this pumpkin? Well, you said you weren't sure if we were gonna use it, and so I did. Spooky scary skeletons. Skeletons have no ass, and every point of entry would be dry and with a lot of friction. Pass. Honestly, there's not much difference between screwing this and dragging your genitals on the concrete like a dog's ass on the carpet. The Abominable Snowman. This entire thing is made from snow and ice. There's no way my little eyeball will be standing at full attention in that weather. Not only that, but if there's one thing I learned from my traumatizing experience with Trojan Fire and Ice Condoms, it is to never buy them again. Pass. F you Trojan, why did you make that? It feels like f sock filled with icy hot. The Grim Reaper. Skeletons, again, don't sound like a pleasurable experience. Also, since you die if this thing touches you, a handy would be the ultimate boner killer. Pass. Unless it's the Jamaican one from Billy and Mandy, then I gotta think a bit more. Scarecrow. Okay, so as is, I'm really not trying to stick my needle in that haystack. There's definitely some creepy crawlies that I don't want in my piss hole. If you were to cut it open, however, and fill it with microwave spaghetti, that's a different story. Smash. Side note, have you ever thought if... Somebody put like one end of the pasta in their pee hole and the other in their mouth and then they did like a lady into the, the tramp thing? No? Okay, then me neither then. Saint Nick, AKA Santa Claus. I know he's always spreading joy, but that's what I'm worried about. All this ho 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 and he goes to every house in the world in one single night. I'm worried he'll pass on a bit more than Christmas cheer. Pass. Yeah, I'll just spread a bit of joy. <laughs> okay, Santa. Can I get off your lap now? Yeah, get off. Santa is on a few lists here. Elves. So, I guess it's just a really short human with pointy ears. Those hands could fit anywhere and are supernaturally proficient at making things. I wonder if they're supernaturally proficient with anything else. Smash. Krampus. The evil anti-Santa that whips you with a bunch of sticks and then stuffs you in a sack. I'm not saying it's the weirdest first date I've ever had, but but it's uh it's up there. Mrs. Claus. It depends on the version of this mythological woman. Cause in some of them, she's kinda like a grandmother, so I won't be indulging in her milk and cookies. However, some versions of her were made by people who were really horny. So 
Smash. The Coca-Cola Polar Bear. If this is just a polar bear, then foreplay would consist of getting your arm bitten off before it clamps its jaws and fangs tightly around your crotch giblets, so I'm gonna have to pass. Ebenezer Scrooge. Scraggly old miser really isn't on my bang list. Even if they do learn the true spirit of Christmas, I'm gonna pass. The Grinch. Is it just me, or did they make the Grinch, like, unnecessarily thick? Where in the job description of learning the spirit of Christmas mandates a Kim K dump truck? Doesn't matter to me. Smash. Jack Frost. I'm not one to kink shame anyone, because to be real, I'd be throwing rocks in a glass house. But why is he nipping at my nose? Who the f bites noses? Is he like making a tight seal and trying to suck all the mucus out of my sinuses? Too risky. Pass. The guy from Baby It's Cold Outside, who none of us realized might have been committing a crime until like 2012. I'm still gonna listen to this song, because now it has a dark yet somehow comical undertone, and also cause Nostaligma. What's Nostaligma? Nostaligma ball! Frosty the Snowman. Cold makes every appendage I have shrivel back up into my body, so even if I wanted to screw this pile of slush, it'd be a catch-22. Pass. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We'll see how shiny that nose is when I'm done with my reindeer games. I really am just a heinous individual. Smash. The Christmas ham that you may or may not be currently enjoying as you watch this video. You know what? It's Christmas. And for once, I'm gonna get in the spirit and not ruin everything. Keep eating the ham. Smash. A Christmas tree. I've said it before, and I'll say it a million times. I don't think anything is worth dick splinters. Pass. Jesus. Everyone says do unto thy neighbor what you want done unto you. Smash. Good thing I'm Jewish, cause otherwise I'd be going straight the f to hell. Although I doubt this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. That dead horse is in an advanced state of decomposition. God. Holy shit. If I wasn't going straight to hell beforehand, I just sealed my fate with this smash. The Virgin Mary. Okay, this, this joke is old now. This is just blasphemy overkill. You see all these fake animals from various human cultures all around the world? They've all been impregnated, and they're not even real. Just a floating, developing hybrid monster fetus contained by absolutely nothing. Imagine what I would do to a human that didn't like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled. I wouldn't want to find out. You should also go watch all my other videos, because unlike what a lot of you have been saying, I do make other f content. Shout out the inner circle. Love y'all. Hurry, right, bye.